Tennessee's drug problem isn't going away. In fact, one treatment group needs more beds to handle all of the patients it's seeing. New Life Lodge sits on more than 100 acres near Burns, Tennessee. The facility has 140 beds, but often they're full. According to Dr. Barry Carlin, a half million people across the country are not getting the treatment they need. Right now, methamphetamine is a big problem right here in Tennessee. Uh, the abuse of uh, prescription painkillers is a big problem, Oxycontin, Vicodin, Percocet. Uh, it's a perennial problem, and we have to adapt to whatever's going on in the market right now. We are also joined by Dr. Barry Carlin, who is the CEO of the CRC Health Group, the nation's largest drug treatment provider. And, gentlemen, President Obama has declared September National Alcohol and Drug Addiction Awareness Month. Dr. Carlin, one thing for you, um, the importance being put on the need to treat this like a disease. Um, what message needs to be sent about this being mainstreamed in the health care system? A great question, though, Stacey. And for 40 years, it's been known that this is a chronic disease, just like any other chronic disease, hypertension, diabetes. It is not about treatment for 30 days. What it's about is stabilization in a treatment center like Eastern here in South Dakota, and then three to five years of continuing care. And so the message out there is that everyone can be helped. Treatment works. The key is go into a program and then spend the next three to five years in a support program. That's what works in the end. Okay, and then with today's event, exciting that that's going to be um, in Sioux Falls today. One question we have, because we have guests of your caliber on our show, that's exciting. Um, why Sioux Falls? Why choose the Falls for this? Uh, Keystone is one of CRC's premier facilities. We have 140 facilities nationwide. Keystone has a nationally recognized methamphetamine program. It's a fantastic uh, treatment center. 93% success rates in the first year, 73% in three years. Last year, they did a terrific job in organizing local activities, and so I selected Keystone this year to be the national center and headquarters for this program. Great, and that three minutes goes all too quickly. Thank you mm -hmm. so much, gentlemen, for joining me this morning. Um, we will learn more today at 11 a.m., a news conference at Keystone Treatment Center in Sioux Falls, followed by a balloon liftoff. It's part of the Recovery Takes Flight event held at over 100 locations nationwide. And we'll be right back. And you go ask the police chief, the local judge, the emergency room and the hospital, everybody knows who you are. It's astonishing the destruction you're causing to the community, to your family, to your former employee, because you, uh, employer, because now you're out of work. Probably the last person that's standing with you is your mother. And, and what's the best treatment? CRC you. Health Group's CEO, Barry Carlin, followed up with the answer, his clinic's methadone treatment. Methadone has grown tremendously, and methadone, to me, is one of the most extraordinary medications ever invented in the United States. I am baffled as to why there remains a stigma about methadone clinics. Here is a medication which has been demonstrated over and over again. It's possibly the most well-studied medication in the history of U.S. medicine. It has been demonstrated to be extraordinarily efficacious. It works remarkably well. At the end of the day, but the biggest problem for several lawmakers, including Delegate Rick Moy of Raleigh County, is that CRC Health Group is a for-profit company. I at one time saw uh, some of the figures of your profit margins and felt they were staggering. Uh, with that in mind, uh, you have about eight clinics in West Virginia. If West Virginia were to decide that these clinics would no longer be for profit, they would be non profit clinics, would you still be up here standing telling us uh, how good the methadone is as a treatment? Would you, would you take the time? Would you be here telling us how good that is? Sure. I mean, the fact that we're non profit doesn't change the reality of the, the quality of the program, the treatment program. Carlin declined to share his profit margin with us, too. You know, nationwide, I mean, I think, uh, you, know, I'm, you know, we're a privately held company, so we don't talk about our margins publicly, but, you know, we're comparable to other um, healthcare organizations. Um, and uh, like any other healthcare company, we, uh, we have investors and we are looking to make a return for our investors. And we're committed to great treatments. And it's my experience, by the way, in, uh, in the healthcare industry, that the finest treatment is inevitably offered by. Uh, for-profit companies who will then reinvest uh, in in the organization. Yeah, this is not just